Hello my friends, welcome to part 60 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on Ultra difficulty. And what we're going to do today guys, uh, by the way thanks for your comments. I was going to put a poll out to ask um, what you think I should do. I've made up my mind and, um, and also guys thanks for not spoiling anything in terms of the story. So I really appreciate it. But what I've, I've gathered is... Okay, let me just show you real quick. Where are we? Okay, so we've got Frozen Wilds. Okay. I've got a ton of side quests to do still. And bandit camps and everything. So what you guys were saying is try and complete... I can actually do this. So this is the um, quest, the mountain that fell. So I'll read that out to you when we get there. As long as I've completed that, but I do not go into Looming Shadow and speak to Avard. I, I think I'm getting that right. As long as I don't speak to Avard, I can do Frozen Wilds, I can do all the remaining side quests, and apparently there's um there's another character I can meet as well that will join our battle um in in the last mission, basically. But we're not gonna see the last mission for a long time, guys. So what I'm proposing to do, we're going to see this through, complete mountain that fell. Then, after that, I'm going to do a side quest here or there, a bandit camp here, here or there. But the main focus is going to be frozen wilds. <laughs> so that's the plan. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do, guys. And um, in fact, what I want to do, I really want to get this moving. So I'll see you... Where are we? Where do we need to go? Okay, I'll see you around here. I hope I don't get attacked. <laughs> I'll see you very shortly. Hey guys, we are back. All right, sorry. I was so excited that we're going to do this kind of a last quest. I forgot to tell you about this. Check it out. <laughs> I'm now the proud owner of a Shadow Stalwart, I think it's called. Let me just see. I can't remember the name. You remember I was um, obsessing over this. This is the one that Silence gave us. I still like it. I think it looks really good. But I wanted to know, do we have a better version? And we do. And there's even also a blue version, the rare. So we've got the very rare one. As you can see, I can put three mods in there if I want to. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I only will wear this for cosmetic purposes. Aloy looks awesome. She looks like, um, you know, Batgirl or Batwoman. <laughs> You know, the nearest thing to um, a superhero in Forbidden... Oh, wow. In Horizon... Oh, gosh. Do I want to fight him? No, I don't. What am I doing? I'm getting distracted. Okay, so that's the outfit. And, guys, what we're going to do now is um, get a mount. I'm really excited to see where this takes us. So, I'll read out the quest now. Oh, no. Don't jump over your mount. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's read this out real quick. Okay, the mountain that fell, main quest. Aloy journeys to the ruins of Gaia Prime in search of the Master Override. Her only hope to defeat Hades. Go to the Bitter Climb. That'll be 14,000 XP and one skill point. All right, so where are we in the map? All right, I guess it will guide us anyway. So we need to go here, I think. Right? Where's the thing gone? Guys, I hate when <laughs> I hate when it disappears off. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go here. It doesn't matter. Alright, looks like there's a fight over there. Yeah, some uh, bandits or something. Okay, did I not select this? Is that what the problem is? Oh, I've got it here. What the hell? Guys, you know what? Just ignore me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, let's just keep going. Hope everyone's doing well, and I really hope you are all enjoying the playthrough. Oh, what now? Oh, crap. Let's let's just go. Charges, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone, please. Alright, where are we going exactly? Well, this looks weird. Um, no, we're totally off. Sorry, my bad, guys. Oh, my God. You know what, guys? Just so they can leave me the hell alone, let me switch back into Silent Hunter. 
Right, will my charger climb this? Not climb, but go over that. All right, it can. Good. Oh, uh, guys, check it out. There's a thing here. Right, phantom limbs. What is this? Okay, dictation on. My legs hurt. I keep reaching down to rub them, but of course they're not here. Oh, God, that's horrible, guys. I tell you, it's one thing to hear about ghost limbs, another to be haunted by them. Moment my hand passes into empty space, I'm back in Bridgewater, and that nano haze is stripping my legs layer by layer as the squad's med bot drags me out of the line of fire. And I start screaming like I was screaming there, in two places at once. Two halves, but one, one of them gone forever, dissolved. And through the wall of the infirmary, I can hear them cheering. Cheering the MRB for saving our asses, Covering our evac back here. Crediting them with NYC still standing after a week. Do they even hear when I start screaming? Sergeant says I'll have prosthetics fitted tomorrow. Good as new. Both know he's lying. I'll never be good again. Oof. That's uh, pretty awful, guys. Just one quick look around. What is... Yeah, this seems to be a facility of sorts. Or what used to be. Wow. <laughs> it must have been terrifying, you know, being here, guys. Honestly, when the Pharaoh Plague thing was happening. All right. Anyway, let's see what we got. What the heck? What's this? Oh no, don't be dark. Ah, oh, crap. It's going to be night time soon. Right, let's grab that. Quick save. And what are we doing exactly? Am I climbing that or do I go up here? No, I guess we're climbing this. I'm really excited to start um, Frozen Wilds, guys. I cannot wait. All right, anyway, so um, let's keep going while it's still light. <laughs> no, I don't mind it being nighttime. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Oh gosh, okay. All right, I'll shut up, guys. <laughs> Let's just get this done. Um, There's more climbables here. Oh man, it's sad because this is what Guy destroyed in order to try and get rid of Hades. Uh, what now? Oh, here? Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Oh gosh, that is so badass. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Right, don't Stalkers see any machine. Oh. Watchers on the other side. Oh shit. Alright, guys, okay. Let's get focused. Where does Okay, there you go. Check it out. Uh guys, we need to override it somehow. And funnily enough, if I do override it, it'll be the first time I've overridden a stalker. Alright, give me a sec, guys. How can I do this? All right, I think there's another stalker there. Dead center. There's one here. Uh, I really am eager to try and override him. Okay, there's one of those traps. A proximity trap or whatever. Oh, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll try. No, I'm too far. Damn it, guys. Shit. Shit. Oh, 
shit. I can't whistle it over, guys. I I'm not really sure what to do here. Wait, how's how does he see me? Wait, 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 hold up. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I barely ever use rocks. I'm going to throw this. Right, he's going to come and investigate. Wait until his aggro clears. Call him over. Right, there he is. No, come here. Come on, don't be awkward, man. All right, he's going to be a dick. Wait, hold up. Is he not aggroed? Well, he's yellow, but I don't see that thing. He's going off to the turkey. <laughs> All right, give me a sec, guys. Just waiting for him to get a bit closer, if he please will. Please? All right, guys, you know what? Screw this. Um, I'll give you a few... Wait, wait, wait. He's running over. No, he's not. He stopped again. Dude! Seriously! All right, never mind. Okay, there's one there, guys. Look, I couldn't make this work. I tried. So, what we're going to do instead, <laughs> unfortunately... Last light. I don't believe this. That is so unfair. What? Why is that not working? God damn it, man. And he's not attacking anyone. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great, guys. I, I love this. This is great. <laughs> All my plans have just flopped. You guys, you've got to be kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. I, I do not believe this. Where's that other stalker? All right, enough. <laughs> I had enough. Come on, hurry up. Please, Aloy. Please. All right, there we go, guys. So there we go. Right, there we go. I can see him. Shit, there's more than two. God damn it. Okay. All right, is he my friend? Are you my friends? Good, he's my friend. Wait. Oh, you fucker. Okay, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know this one behind me. Shit. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, guys, this has been a bit of a flop, so let me switch to that. Um, sorry, let me do... God damn it, man. Where the hell is it? Okay, this one. Uh, what else? And I need my bow back as well. <laughs> great. Oh, great. But look at that damage reduction. Move, Aloy! Oh my God! Guys, we're, we're not going to make it. This is actually pretty, pretty tough. Okay, nice. Okay, good. Oh my God, he did that. What the? Seriously? Right, who is shooting me? I can't see. Right, I think he's over there. Wait one sec. Oh, God damn it. I don't know which one's my friend, guys. Oh, 
Oh my god, he did three. I want this. Oh my god, guys, this whole time I thought I had the um Oh my god. Unbelievable. You son of a bitch. Okay, he's dead anyway. Guys, that was terrible. Oh shit, there's another one. Who are you? I thought this one was my buddy. Oh, God. Guys, not gonna lie, this was terrible. Didn't do very well there. Oh, we made it through, but I lost all my medicine. <laughs> I was hoping to save it, and I didn't even use my health potions. All right, whatever. Okay, let me loot up. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Hey guys, okay, we are back. Did some looting. I'm just having a look around, really. So what's this? <laughs> just saying these off. It's actually fun saying them off. All right, picked up as much medicine as I could. Oh, shush, it's actually getting a bit distracting now, that thing. All right, one more. There's one more medicine here. All right, it wants me to go here. And also, guys, just one more quick thing. Apparently, there's a vantage point. We'll try our best to get that if we can. Right, don't see any other enemies. I think we're good for now. Medicine? Yes, good. All right, let's climb up. So I guess this will be the the new site where Gaia was moved to. Anyway, let's keep going. Campfire, where? All right, it must be above. Okay, what's that? I doubt they think it all. Who? More like an instinct. Gathering them to her grave. Damn it, guys. Okay, I can't see shit, but I have a feeling <laughs> there's a shit ton of machines there. So let's put that again. I don't know what machines, probably more stalkers. No. Right, Ravager. Glint Hawks. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right. Let's not rush this because the last fight was a bit shit. Oh, so difficult to see though. Um, is there any grass nearby? There's a watcher down there as well. God damn it, guys. This is going to be tricky. Very tricky. Okay. All right, we'll sort out. The only thing is I need some... Right, there we go. I didn't even see this. We need to override a Ravager. He's going to start some trouble with the Glint Hawks. And I'm hoping with his um, laser cannon, he can kill some of them for me. But I've got this as well. I can set them on fire. So I'm just thinking out loud, guys. Okay. All right, let's let's just see what happens. Okay, good, good, good. He's wait, wait. Is he a ravager or he is? He is. No, no, no. Don't go. Oh God. Okay, guys. Can you actually come here, please? Not like the stalker. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I have a feeling he'll be able to... Oh, damn it. Oh, I don't want to switch into my corruption thing. Right. Let me help him. Good. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no, he's on fire. Whoa, there's another one. Guys, I didn't know there's another one. Shit. Oh, guys, no. Really? Okay, I need to switch. God damn it, man. I didn't know there was another Ravager. Nothing was coming up. Right, there you are, you piece of shit. Oh no, don't be stuck. Aloy, oh no, 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 no. Right, that didn't really do much. Oh crap, oh crap. No, no, please. <laughs> no. Okay, all right, bit of a problem, guys. God damn it, man. This. Oh. Oh, what? What just hit me? I am confused. Can you die, please? Okay, good. All right, what happened to my Ravager? Where is he? Shit. What just happened? Something blew up. I, guys, I can't see him. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. Come on, die, you stupid bastard. All right, where's the other one? Oh, you awesome. Guys, I hate it when they fly over you. Oh my god, will you just die, please? <laughs> Guys, that was a little bit super sloppy, but I didn't know there was another Ravager here. And I only wore this outfit because of the freeze damage from the Glintorks, but I thought my Ravager was going to absolutely wreck the Glintorks, but that didn't quite happen. <laughs> All right, never mind. Never mind. It worked out in the end, but I didn't have my potions to hand. God damn it. Just running out of medicine. All right, guys, look, usual. Let me um, look around. If there's anything interesting, I'll let you know. Hey, guys. I just looted as much as I could and I had to destroy some mods as well because I ran out of space. Other than that, nothing. <laughs> nothing interesting. However, the weather is getting awful. There's something very unsettling and eerie about this place. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. What's that? I hope that's medicine. It is good. Good. I'm looking around for any, I don't know, data points or anything, but I can't find any. So. All right, guys, let's uh, make a move. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. The only thing is, as well, guys, I'm just hoping to goodness we'll be able to revive uh, Gaia. I hope we can. So that will be quite good. Yes, more medicine. Fantastic. Oh, guys, I can't see anything. All right, here we go. I think it's here. Right. No. Guys, I can't see shit. What the hell? Okay, wait. Uh, what? Sorry, am I missing something? Alright, let's find it. It has to be here. Uh, climbable holes, I mean. Right, here we go, here we go. Excellent. Okay. Let me guess. Thunderjaw. <laughs> it's going to be waiting for me up there. Or better still, rock breakers. Shit, 
okay okay you know what we do guys um right i need sorry the shock one where is it this one and i haven't used this in a long time let me just see if i have any better shock ones right what have i got now that's 29 percent oh wait melee no let's put this one ranged attacks 30 percent shock and corruption 29 percent guys let me put this one because it does fire some ranged attacks as well God. why are you so high up right we're gonna need rope cast to suit whoa 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 guys i can't see anything man it's too dark oh you arsehole okay wait 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 wow okay i've never been hit by that before no damage guys check it out oh shit he's doing a slam he's doing a slam guys i do want to jump Aloy. <laughs> what I've, guys i've never ever seen that before i've never seen that shit okay is this like a Whoa, okay okay all right guys i think this is an op one he's doing moves i've never seen okay wait come on oh my god this is so scary okay no damage we're fine we're okay damn it you fucker oh good good okay this is good this is very good no move your <laughs> oh no guys wait did that work i i don't believe this his wing was covering it his guys his wing did that work he blew up i didn't see you guys i was scared all right here we go again oh i can't see anything man oh my lord <laughs> this is so shit nope he's right above me oh shit shit oh god Please, Aloy, please. Our lives are, are at stake. We're okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, guys. All right, I've had enough of him now. Sorry, give me a sec. And here we go. Maybe this, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway. Oh, actually, shit. Damn it, I shouldn't have done this. My fault, that's my fault. I'm just in a panic, guys. Okay. Come on, come on! Get up, Aloy, get up! keeps moving jesus how did that even reach me he was aiming somewhere else okay no rope again oh dude you have to be so awkward
I, I really hate them. <laughs> Guys, Glint Hawks are now Stormbirds. Oh my god! guys okay um what now <laughs> sorry i'm stuck okay good he didn't actually break it. no 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 get this please oh my god is he dead All right, guys, not gonna lie, that Stormbird was different. I've only fought two, I think, two or three. I've never had any real issue with them. This fucker... <laughs> wow, this was the hardest Stormbird. But yeah, no, nowhere near as difficult as the two Rock Breakers, but this one made me work for the victory. God damn it, guys. That was, um... Yeah, pretty difficult. And I can't see anything. What the hell? All right. Anyway, back to business. I wish this wasn't, like, you know, stormy out here. I'd like to look around and... Anyway, whatever. Okay, the way Aloy said that, it does seem to me... Uh, well, I think that was the last battle we're gonna have i hope <laughs> um right go to ruin to guy prone we're nearly there guys huh. what the hell all right let me change my outfit okay we're gonna wear the sexy one look if there is another enemy, then obviously I'll ch change to something else, but... Wait, is that something I can loot? Sorry, my eyes are playing tricks with me. I thought there was a supply crate. Oh, crap, guys. Guys, this is it. been in here before to a point you'll see guys again like i said at the beginning of, i mean it was good i had those fights you know with the machines they actually took my mind off things a little bit yes it was very stressful and i sucked balls <laughs> in those battles however it took my mind off things because i felt very and i still feel very uneasy it's just something about this. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Actually, Aloy, why can't you override a Glintswalk so we can fly on it? Or use it to fly? Or even better, a Stormbird. <laughs> and we can fly it. Alright, guys, okay. All right, I procrastinated long enough. Let's just go. Let's see what's happening here. Very spooky. It's very eerie. And I have a feeling, guys, we're going to meet Hades. My gosh, it's so... Down. 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 All right, come on. Yeah, it's just so horrible, <laughs> all of this. 
So Silence, you've been here. That must have belonged to him. I want to know what happened to Elysium as well. Guy Prime, G Prime, guys, all the tall necks kept talking about this place. All right, all right, let's go in. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Oh, come on. You couldn't have known. Come on, Silence. He's a highly intelligent guy, but there's no way he could have known everything. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death. Your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But... do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I really hope we can uh, recreate Gaia, but we'll see. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. Alright, I'm going in. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Oh boy, <laughs> no pressure. Right. Oh, there's silence. <laughs> He's still there. Um, okay, there's nothing here by the looks of it, so here we go. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. As usual, guys, I'm going to be as thorough as humanly possible. I may take my time. Um, I leave, well, mostly everything in the timestamp, so you can, you know, uh, skip ahead if there's parts you already know, if you played this before. Right, it obviously wants me to go down here. We're not going to do that. Uh, and I can see a data point icon. All right, anything else? Okay, that's not a room. That's not a room. Here we go. Check it out. Right, Guy Prime arrival log. Logging arrivals. Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubated, hon. She's still firing up. 
Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. <laughs> I was gonna pass the time archive in them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> oh, you will. You're what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, where are they, though? What happened to Elysium? I don't think it's going to be here. Elysium is going to be a different place. So what's this blue thing? Nothing. All right. Okay, so let's move on. There's really nothing else. All right, guys, let's go through here. Footy. Thank you for the warning silence, because I suck at this. I always end up falling down. Oh my god, that is really far down. Okay, is there anything up there? Is there any secret rooms? Don't think so. All right, anyway, let's go. No. Aloy. The other way. Okay, this way. Thank you. All right. Sorry, guys. The reason I keep panning the camera, I'm just seeing if there's perhaps a room. All right, doesn't seem to be. If there is, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Right, looking for the icon. Can't see anything. Right, again, we need to go here. Is there anything here, though? Sorry, one quick check. No, that's closed. There's really nothing here. Whoa. My controller went crazy there for a sec. Guys, look at this place. Oh, awful. Wait, what's that? What's this? Nothing. It was just light. Guys, I'm so nervous, my god. Okay, wait, I, am I supposed to go down? Okay, and then? Right, there's climbables there. Or does it just take me back up? All right, let's try. What's that? There's a room here, guys. Need medicine anyway. Yeah, there's a room. There's actually a place here. Come on, Icon. Come on. Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, on the mini map. What's this? Yes, guys, we got the fucking power cell. It's power cell. They must fit somewhere. <laughs> okay, well, you know what the next episode's going to be, right? Um, yeah, sorry, what I was trying to say was on the mini-map, uh, normally there's like a diamond or a square, uh, white colour, and lets you know that there's a data point or something. But hey, we got a, we got the final power salt, guys. That's why I look at everything. Absolutely everything. Alright, but just before... Okay, no, we have to go down to go up, I think. Sorry, guys, just ignore me. I'm mumbling to myself. One second. Okay, where exactly are we going, though? Is it here? Right, that's closed off. Guess that's my way across. All right, all right, I'm done. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. I'm nervous, guys. I'm not going to lie, man. Here we go. Don't think he will just do it. I could have said it better myself. It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well. <laughs> that cheered me up a little bit. Oh, crap, guys. Sorry. So suddenly, I just got a big brain moment. I gotta stop it here. Just give me a sec. Sorry, you'll trust me. Trust me. Okay. Was it a side quest or an errand? I can't remember. Let's go down here. Give me a sec. Yeah, it's this. A moment's peace. Do you remember? Way, way back. I don't remember what episode. Okay, a remote Banute camp is surrounded by docile machines. What could be causing their strange behavior? Do you remember this, guys? Uh, there was actually a um, thing that apparently fell from the sky. And that's what made the machines, you know, really friendly. It was 20 years old, according to the message. It's come from here. The explosion, that, that was basically a piece from the explosion. Right? <laughs> I hope I'm correct. After all that, I'm, you know, not right, but I'm pretty certain I'm, I'm correct about that. All right, what's happening here? Oh, glad that's over. All right. Okay, Aloy. We need to find answers. Okay, again, we need to go there, but what's here? Nothing by the looks of it. Okay, let's go here. All right, now it wants me to go up. However, anything down below? No. Okay. All right, again, sorry, just looking for any rooms. That's where I came out of. Okay. All right, we need to go there. Whoa. Guys, this is horrifying. Anyway. Oh, we've got to be kidding, really? Nothing? No data points, nothing? This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once, this was all enclosed by rock and metal. All right, there's a data point, um, that way. However, what's up here? Um, yeah, I don't want to fall to my death. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Wait, hold up, hold up. Right, check it out, guys. All right, let me start here real quick. Okay, nothing quiet here. Right, log Margot Shen. The cord. I just woke up. It's... I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of... Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more... shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank, open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans... We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders and lottery winners and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime, no different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, Flaring, dying, some will be beautiful, some horrific, and none of that matter. Short-term civilizations, one last gasp, one last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, 
to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Wow, guys, that's insane, man. Well, partly her dream kind of came true a little bit because that's what happened to <laughs> mankind in the end. You know, turn into primitive tribes. Okay, all right, there's nothing else here, I don't think. So let's go this way. Guys, if I miss anything important, please let me know in the comments. And I'll do another quick search. Okay, all right, again, it's telling me to go there, but what's this? Come on. Come on, it has to be a data point. Come on. Really? Alright, the white cube thing has is not showing up, so there's nothing here. There's a shower. <laughs> Guys, it's so spooky and eerie here. Wait, what's this? Alright, nothing. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh, there's something there. All right, we'll investigate that in a minute. What's this? Charles Ronson. That's the Artemis dude, isn't it? Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of Paradisaidi zygos I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. Oh, shit. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with, given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Guys, that is so freaking sad, man. Um, Tom Paik, he's the one, he's the Aussie one. He was going to beat up Ted Farrow. <laughs> I wish he did. All right. Tom Paik wanted to be euthanized, right? He actually wanted to go under once his work was done. So Charles Ronson said, yes, he'll die with him, essentially. But he tried to get some zygotes for some other animals. I don't know what the Paradisi A thing is. I don't know what is our birds or, you know, I don't know. But the point is he didn't end up getting it, but... um. You got separate from Tom Paik. That's sad. It's really sad. Uh, I kind of knew this episode was going to be kind of like this, you know, just full of tragedy. So the Alphas didn't go to Elysium. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Come on. It has to be something else. <laughs> Come on, game. Stop it. All right. Okay. Don't want to miss anything. Is anything here at all? Anything. Whoa, whoa, what's that? I saw someone said guys' journals. It's okay. Let's keep going up. This is fine. All right, here we go. By the way, what the hell happened to Ted Farrow as well? Please don't say he's an Elysium. That, that would suck. Wait, there's really nothing here? Elizabeth's room. 
I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. I have to admit, that's very well said, Silence. All right, Gaia's journals. Um, sorry, Gaia journals. Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, solid state. Uh, storage devices cursory scan indicates severe data corruption from impact and exposure damage right the only thing is this did come up but i didn't want to cut off their dialogue so where would this be okay it'll be under not that no not this this is wild isn't it okay all right here you go right so big under repair under repair i can't read these yet Okay, fine, whatever. That's fine. Now what? Oh, we have to go up there. Okay, okay. What's here? Now? Let me guess. Nothing. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Right, we just came out of it. Okay, fine. Let's go this way. And it's up here, guys. What the hell? Oh, okay. Elizabeth. What is this? What? This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who would I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. Oh no. You don't think... Oh no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm, I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, happy trails, Liz. That is, I have no, guys, I've got no words. 
I knew this episode was going to be weird. I just knew it. Oh, I'm so devastated, man. Well, obviously, yes, I know she died eventually, but not... I don't want her to die like that, you know? I feel so sad. That's awful. Yeah, what do you want, Silence? Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... Beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. I don't want to say, I don't know. You just don't get it. I, I don't know, guys. Not in the way you mean. Let me do that. You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others. For everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. No, what? <laughs> oh, God damn it. I hope we get an answer to that. All right, there's stuff here. Uh, okay, let's start with this, I guess. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was... Dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek. There's only one. I miss you. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, what's next? My boy, Travis Tate. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kind of creepy, if you ask me. Rest <laughs> in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. I love how all of these eulogies speak to the person who's saying it. You know, it speaks to their personality. All right, we've got one here. Ted Farrow, fuck you. <laughs> Rest in peace. I know. I know you're never going to hear this. That's not the point. You, uh, <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. What is that? It? Wait, hold on. Did he sound bitter about that? You got to play the savior one last time. Great work. Uh, sorry, maybe because I hate him so much, I'm very biased to feel and hear it negative. Right. This is bothering me because I swear I saw this and I wasn't imagining things. There is something here. So let's go here. I've got all the power cells though, right, guys? So what's this? 
All right, look, there's a data point. Is there anything here? Oh, pri okay, maybe we're supposed to go there, but give me a moment. Oh, crap. <laughs> One second. All right, it's better be important. Okay, good. It's just for a data point that we could have missed. Alright, grab all of that. Oh, sorry to read that. Aletheia runtime check. Alright. Let's start over from Aletheia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I've oh. considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I... No. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator. The patron saint of this crazy endeavor. Our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. It's called a manner of speech, girl. Take a note. Gaia misses Elizabeth Sobek. Oh man, this <laughs> guys, this is so heavy, man. It really is. All right. Um, sorry, I'm turned around. Okay, that's where we need to go. There's Elizabeth's tribute. Is there anything here though? No. Okay, fine, fine. So this tunnel was to lead in that room to get the data point okay fine oh wait a minute is there more nope <laughs> dead end all right uh oh i get it no that's fine so we ended up there right oh crap is it that wait 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 Wait! <laughs> Here we go. Core control log. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Uh-oh. Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz... gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean... Maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? So he wasn't even in Elysium. I think. I don't think so. Guys, you know what? Do you remember a few episodes ago I actually had a theory that maybe Elizabeth Sobek's still alive? <laughs> well, that got kind of shot down very quickly, didn't it? Um... Okay, so Ted's not here. Just be these guys, but they didn't go to Elysium. All right. Okay, I think this is it, meaning just that door. But before I do anything... Sorry, guys, one second. Very quick scan. I do not want to miss this. 
yeah nothing sorry because i was talking i didn't look out for the white icon <laughs> all right let's go then okay and definitely nothing else all right nothing there all right, there's a thing, data point thing, and it's right here. The future from Ted Bloody Farrow. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. Sorry, what? I think he's lost the plot. What? I sorry, anyway, whatever. Whatever. Uh, sorry, what am I doing here? Oh, <laughs> I didn't, sorry, I didn't see these. All right, my bad. Okay, any hidden rooms? No. Anything up there? No. All right, here we go. No, 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 climb the other way, please. No, please, Aloy, please. All right, there we go. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. All right, we need to go up there. Guys, this is... <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Epic, but very disturbing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall to my death there. All right, well... Wait, there's a data point thing showing up. And there it is. Okay, is there more? No. The solution. Ted Farrow? What? What does he mean by this? Oh, God, okay. All right, anything else? Oh, Jesus. Okay, keep going, keep going. Whoa, that's really far down. God damn it. All right, what do I do? Have I missed something? Yes, I have. It's, it's here. All right, now what? Okay, I get it. I can see where it's going. Oh gosh, this is dodgy. Uh, just quick look over here. All right, the stairs going down. All right. Wait, let me go. Oh, okay. What the fuck, guys? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Wait, did Ted Farah kill these people? The alphas, I mean. Oh, crying out loud. 
Oh gosh, I'm scared to push this button, but it's got to be done. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh... <clears throat> I've, um... Uh, please. Stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um... I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is... I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. Oh, no. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it, every copy. It's sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, dude. I, I, I'm stunned. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, no words. I, I don't even know what to say, guys. He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Ted Farrow can go suck one million dicks. <laughs> I can't stand him, man. And I would love to know his fate. Um, what the hell's down there? What is that? Oh, man. And I saw, guys, I saw Travis here. This is my favorite. <laughs> Damn it, guys. This is, I have no words. I don't even know what to say, man. The Master Override. Oh. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Hmm. Tra it's pure tragedy. And guys, I told you from the beginning of this episode, there was something not right. I don't know how to explain it. It was like I was almost afraid to find out what happens, you know? Yeah, scatter to the wind indeed. If only they they could know whatever they were trying to do, it all worked. <laughs> you know, with um, Project Zero Dawn, it all worked. Oh man, I'm I'm just devastated. 
Fuck you, Faro. <laughs> God damn it, guys. All right, which way? And I hope I'm not missing anything, but please let me know in the comments if I have, guys. I'm just stunned, really. I don't know what to say. Not really sure what to articulate, you know? Probably in the next episode when I record, um, I'll have a clearer head by then. Okay. Whoa. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. <laughs> Good one, silence. <laughs> oh, no, don't die. Okay. Keep holding, keep holding. All right, there's a thing there, but what's here? All right, never mind. We just need to go up. Whoa. Okay. All right, now what? Here? What's that way? Nothing. Guys, I can't see. I can't see the floor. Okay, here we go. All right, here we are. All right, just have to climb back up. All right, this way. Guys, I am sad. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I feel so sad. It's like I'm grieving, you know? Hmm, anyway. All right, what's happening here? Who's that? You're silence. Here. Oh, real oh, silence. Okay, good. Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. No! But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Minerva. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Shit. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. In the beginning, guys, I was a bit pissed off that he created the Eclipse and everything. But guys, I got a lot of respect for him. He didn't have to tell Aloy this. Any of this, so... I can't say Chase. No, tell me everything. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. 
A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. Guys, uh, just a quick one. I need to interject here. What's bothering me is the fact that Hades... You remember Guy said something about a signal? I can't remember exactly what she said. I'm just paraphrasing, but she said something about signal being sent either to her or to Hades. But you got to remember, guys, Hades, um, Eleuthia, Minerva. I, I don't remember all the rest of them, guys. Apollo, etc. They're not actually AIs. So why is Hades alive? <laughs> why is he now an AI? Because that's what it seems like to me. So I'm just a bit confused by that. But anyway. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. Okay. Yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. Ah, oh, this is crazy, guys. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A 
kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Right. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. <laughs> that, that's awesome. Well, that's filled in a few blanks, which is great. What is this? Is, is there nothing you won't do for knowledge? You've done what you could to make up for your mistakes. That's not who Silence is. He doesn't care. And uh, that's okay. I, listen, guys, let me just make my position clear. I think Silence is an awesome character. We need him. And I don't care. I know he's very... Uh, how do I say this? He's very calculated. He's very... He divorces himself of all emotion. You kind of need somebody like that on your team. Right? You know, very rational thinkers. Emotional people can make very illogical decisions. You know what? I'm digressing. That's not even what I want to talk about. But the point I'm making is I, I don't trust him, but we need him. And there's no way he would even give a shit about what mistakes he's made. Let me choose this one. Look, on an next playthrough, I'll choose this. But <laughs> is there nothing you won't do for knowledge? The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy. This wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it. And you have a what? Of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere and everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. I feel sad he's gone. <laughs> I am really sad he's gone, but it's okay. Now, what's this about Lance? By the way, guys, if you haven't already, please check out my Monsanto World Lance playthrough on my channel. I did the base game, the 2018 base game, and I also did Monsanto World Iceborne, the DLC. Let's start. Oh, no, wait. It's telling me to go here. All right, let's craft it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this a new spear? Is that what this could be? If it is, I'll be very happy. Wait, guys, I've got to see this. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, is it shock? No way, guys. No way. And it looks sick as well. Right, this the looming shadow. Now, I'm just going by what the comments are. I would love to actually do it. I'm going to be honest with you. I'd like to just see the game through. But you guys told me, no, I must do all sides, side quests, bandit camps, frozen wilds even, and then do the lo looming shadow. So I, I trust you all. <laughs> anyway. First meeting. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are 
are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Define timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sundom's reign. Define Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful, but you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Frame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. Ah, oh, is that it? All right, what else? Okay, um... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, here we go. Sorry, my bad. This one here. Buried shadow. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the Alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man. Chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. Guys, this is fucking crazy, man. This is nuts. I'm so sorry I've been so quiet. I'm just taking this all in. This is insane. Interceptor transmission. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I would, but... I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing. Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. No. Inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O oh Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Oh no. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. <laughs> Guys, this is a lot. Wow, I I'm blown away yet again. Oh. Guys, I really want to do the last quest, but I don't. I, oh. The eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Derval, I know he'll defend the city. But the spire. All right, just one more quick scan. I don't see anything else. And guys, just while you're here, um, is my spear right? Silence, Lance. Okay, check it out. Right, made a weapon. Blah 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 blah. It does add shock. That's insane, guys. But do you know what the funny thing is? I've got mods. I just kept one purple one. I kept getting green ones. I just dismantled them. But anyway, the point is, when can I actually put this in the spear? Does the spear get upgraded again? But it's sick. Look at that. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, all right, guys. Look, we're going to leave it here. Um, this is a lot. I don't even know what else I can say to you all. I guess we can get the vantage points in the next video, guys, because there is a, a vantage point here. Oh, crap. So we'll do that 
you know, when I come back to you all. Now, here's the thing, just so you're prepared for this. I may go and do Frozen Wild straight away, or I might do a couple of side quests, maybe a bandit camp. Actually, guys, this is jump down. No! no! <laughs> guys, that is not my fault. I'll keep this in now. I'm not even going to edit it. Hello, my friends. Let's start that again, shall we? Okay. <laughs> to tell that the eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the spire. Guys, okay, look, I I'm just going to end it here. <laughs> this was a lot anyway. I'm not really sure what else I can do to, or do or say to articulate how I'm feeling right now. I probably have to wait until the next episode. My mind's a bit clearer. But this was a lot. I'm still kind of grieving for the Alphas and Elizabeth Sobek. I can't believe that dick sucker Ted Farrow killed the Alphas. I'm just devastated. But guys, listen, it's been an honor. <laughs> We're probably going to do Frozen Wilds and X. I'll let you know. So look out for part 62. And um, yeah, anyway, take care. Thanks for uh, checking out the video. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Ha <laughs> <laughs>